Comrades, on behalf of the Oil Fields Workers Trade Union, we wish to extend unwavering solidarity with the World Federation of Trade Union in achieving this historic 75th anniversary. This is a momentous day for the class-oriented trade union movement and the working class of the world in general. As such an important organization as the WFTU, uh, that such an organization of the working class continue to exist, not just existing, but existing as a beacon for revolutionary trade unionism. This is made even more critical with the COVID-19 pandemic. This pandemic has shown the world that capitalism cannot solve the world's problem. And it only deepens social inequality. The general tendency of capitalist production is to strip away our humanity. The pandemic has exposed the profound hypocrisy and inherent barbarism of capitalism, neoliberalism, and the grotesque nature of imperialism. We in OWTU stand with the WFTU in being staunchly anti-imperialist. Therefore, we would like to use this opportunity on its 75th anniversary to categorically condemn the actions by the Trump regime for sanctions that have intensified and made more brutal the illegal, illegitimate, and criminal U.S. economic trade and financial blockade of the Republic of Cuba. We also unreservedly condemn the unilateral imposition by the United States Trump regime of illegal and illegitimate sanctions against the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela and their illegal pursuit of regime change in Venezuela. We wish to announce on this 75th anniversary of WFTU that the Caribbean region is a zone of peace and we condemn hostilities towards Cuba, Venezuela and Haiti. The OWTU is proud to celebrate 75 years with WFTU. We were with WFTU at its birth in Paris, where our then President General John Rojas participated in its founding Congress. And 75 years later, we are still with the WFTU and remains a committed member of the Presidential Council. As a revolutionary trade union movement, we must continue to be the center of resistance, the schools of socialism, and continue to strive for the final emancipation of the working class. Long live WFTU, long live internationalism, as we go forward ever and backward never.